the famous Indian mathematician Sri Sundar Rao of Madras has written a book on origami in 19th century. Just imagine how he must have created them without many resources during those days. According to him, paper folding is not quite foreign to us. For writing Marathi and Sanskrit, the paper was creased horizontally or vertically to maintain the lines and columns straight. He could explain arithmetic series, geometric progressions and many more just through paper folding. Let's take a square piece of paper, make a rectangular fold on that and make one more perpendicular fold to that and you'll find four small squares in that. Make a diagonal to the original square, make a perpendicular fold to that which forms a second diagonal square. And let's have a one unit by one unit square. So the area of this square is one square unit. Now let's identify the centers of the sides of this square and form creases between those two points. In this way shown make a right angle isosceles triangle fold and make on all the four sides you will get the new square formed let's have these creases highlighted in this way the first square is having four right angle isosceles triangles Similarly, all the four squares are having totaling to 16 right angled isosceles triangles. And the new square formed has got 8 right angled isosceles triangles, which makes the new square half of the area of the one square unit square. Let's see in the origami way fold the triangles inside towards the center and they are exactly congruent to the new square formed so the new square is half the area of the original square now once again identify the centers of the squares of the new square formed just now and make the creases as shown let the creases be inside that small squares make it on all the four sides to form the new square it looks like this now this has got four right angled isosceles triangles within it and the square bigger than this has got eight right angled isosceles triangles so this square is half of the next one and also one fourth of the one square unit. Once again identify the centers of the sides of the square just formed and try to crease it as shown. This is one side and this is the new square just formed which is half of the next one and also that is also one fourth of the second one 
and also this square form just now is one eighth of the one square unit and that has got two right angled isosceles triangles within it now let's see the squares what we have made this is the first square formed this one let's crease it to the second square we made turn it back and fold the right angled isosceles triangles in it and you will find that there are four right angled isosceles triangles in the second square formed Now let's go for the third square we have formed. This is the first square formed. This is the second square formed. And we are arriving at the third square in this way. Now let's see these ratios as 1 by 2, 1 by 4 and 1 by 8. These are the three squares we made. The first one is 1 by 2 of the 1 unit square. The second one is 1 fourth of the 1 square unit square. And the third one is 1 eighth of the 1 square unit square. Now let's add up all these fractions 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 up to infinite number of terms adding up all of them. Now let's remove the second square from this addition and we know that there are four right angled isosceles triangles on that. And if we remove we have to add these four triangles to the first square. So what we do is, we remove two flaps, so we get one, two and three, four triangles. Now let's go for the third square, which has got two right angled isosceles triangles in that. If you remove that also from our sum, we have to remove two more, one more flap so that we have two triangles in it. Now this series goes on up to infinity, that forms the fourth flap that is two more right angle as triangles 1 by 16 plus 1 by 32 up to infinity which will all add up to 1 because it will not cross the area of the one unit square so in this way we have proved one geometric series summation happy folding viewers